Ngami Hiotiwan, the headlines, a New Zealand-born journalist detained in Libya, has now been freed. Sharon Ward was investigating former rebel abuses of a minority ethnic group and was arrested on the outskirts of Tripoli. Friends say Ms Ward has been picked up from the British Embassy. Cigarette giant Philip Morris is directing customers to a campaign website about tobacco restrictions coming into force next week. The company says it's encouraging smokers to have their say on the new laws. But the Director of Action on Smoking and Health, Ben Newton, told New Zealand's Rima it's more aggressive than that. What's pretty appalling about this is that the, the very people they're trying to recruit to fight their corner are the same people that they're killing with their products. Work is underway to transform New Zealand's biggest ecological disaster into something more positive for the environment. 167 tonnes of butterfat has been removed from the wreck of the arena and will be recycled into biodiesel fuel. New Zealand is keen to win a seat on the United Nations Security Council in 2015. Foreign Minister Murray McCulley says we face an uphill battle as we're up against the much larger and big, better resourced nations. But Labour's Foreign Affairs spokesperson Phil Goff told New Zealand's Rima that we can do it. Small size isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yes, we are up against Spain and Turkey, but over 100 members of the United Nations are small countries, as small as or smaller than New Zealand. The Greens are laying a breach of privilege charge with the Speaker of the House against the Finance Minister. Bill English told Parliament they spent just over a million dollars on consultants this year, but failed to mention Treasury also spent another six million dollars for their efforts. Greens co-leader Russell Norman says Bill English misled Parliament. And overseas, the uprising against Syria's President Bashar al-Assad has become increasingly intense. Rebels are taking control of the, over the country's eastern border crossings with Iraq. And in sporting news, Mike Hessen is the new coach of the Black Caps. The former coach of Otago in Kenya has been named as the successor to John Wright. And to netball, Robin Broughton will coach the Central Pulse team again in 2013. Broughton was originally locked in for just one season. However, she's agreed to stay on for another year. And staying with netball, coaching legend Lois Muir has backed Waikato Bay of Plenty's Magic to win against the Vixens in Sunday's ANZ Championship Grand Final in Melbourne. The long-standing former Silver Ferns mentor says Magic have the material to do it and it's within their power. Go the Magic. That's it from the Rima Newsroom. Remember, you can catch our hourly headlines on Shine TV from 6.30 to 9.30pm from Monday to Friday. Modi order.